Hello everyone, once again, my name is Mark Stark, not once again, my name is Mark Stark, it is Mark Stark, and I am here for our Facebook Live every Tuesday, 1.30 Pacific Standard Time. Uh, today we're going to talk about creating a powerful, personal daily routine. And for those of you who are addicted to having a daily routine, raise your hand, I'll raise mine. Uh, I, I love having a routine. Uh, it gives me something to look forward to. Uh, it certainly organizes my mind. It organizes my day. And so I'm going to give you some tips today on what I feel is very important that you need to take into account when you're creating a daily routine. Now, at first, I entitled it personal, you know, a powerful personal daily routine. And I have to tell you that personal is so important because look it, if you're going to have a routine that you adhere to and you utilize, it's got to be personalized. Okay. It's not about what anyone else is doing. It's not about truthfully, I'm not going to give you advice, direct advice of what has to go in to your, your routine because it doesn't work. What I think is important, what you think is important can be different you know, very different things. I will give you a recommendation uh, on a couple things that I think you should include, but you know what? 1,000% your call. Let's jump right in. All right. Three things to have a great daily routine uh, is outcomes, honesty, and action. Outcomes, honesty, and action. Now let's break that down. Um, for those of you who have ever read the book by Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. If you haven't read it, uh, I suggest uh, you do read it. If you haven't read it in a while, let's say you have and you haven't read it in a while, I would listen to the uh, audio or I would read it again because it's a powerful, powerful book. And one of the tips in there is to start with the end in mind. Guess what? very, very important when you're putting together a daily routine. So I'm going to tweak starting the end in mind, and we're going to call those outcomes. See, you're going to start by thinking about the outcomes from this routine. See, that's what really gets you going in the right direction. Look, this is one of the outcomes that I want to have materialize if I'm going to put in this effort, this time, this work, this routine. Great. That's the way it should be. Now, there's some rules along this, uh, uh, along these lines. These outcomes that you pick have to be truly, really, absolutely important to you. If you are just picking outcomes uh, because you're picking a business outcome, you're picking a picking a personal outcome, all that kind of aspect, unless it's really meaningful and important to you, it just doesn't work. Because here's the facts. You won't care. And if you don't care, there's no reason for you to get up and do any of these routines. So rule number one is start with the end in mind. But rule number two is whatever outcomes that you pick have to be extremely important to you. The other aspect I want you to keep in mind when you pick these outcomes is you've heard me talk about your perfect day. Well, if I'm going to build a routine for myself, a personal routine that I am going to commit to, I want it to support my perfect day. I mean, if I'm going to put a routine together, I want it to have the activities that I feel good about, that I'm excited about. So I advise as you're building these outcomes, do the outcomes support your perfect day? You know, the things that you want to do each day, think, tie those outcomes to those types of activities. Again, your perfect day. Only choose the most important goals. If you end up trying to have too many goals about too many things, the reality of it is, you know, uh, the old saying is, if you try and do too many things, you don't do anything at all. Okay, you almost get paralyzed. So we don't want that to happen. So only pick the very, very important goals that support your routine. Now, these specific desired outcomes, I want you to understand that the outcomes themselves, when you choose the right 
the right outcomes, they're your why. They're your why of why you're going to do what you do each day. The activities, the actions that you commit to, all right, within your routine is, you know what, so important that why, why you do it is the outcomes you pick. So remember that. It all ties together. And I have to tell you, the more real, the more authentic, and the more you care about them, the more powerful they will be. And the more you will stick to your routine. Now, there is a beware, a caution that I must give you. There's a big difference between what you want and what you're willing to do to get what you want. So be clear, all right? You know, you might say to yourself, well, I really want that outcome. But what you've really got to ask yourself is based on the routine that supports that perfect day, that supports that outcome, am I willing to do those activities? To me, in my personal opinion, it all comes down how bad you want it. If you really want that outcome, and let's say it's a big outcome, but you are all about it, I would say this, I wouldn't bet uh, against you, and I certainly wouldn't want to take a bet to tell somebody, yeah, try and stop that person when they're really excited and really inspired by their direction and their vision going forward, specifically in the outcomes they're trying to achieve. So I, I can't impress upon you more what has helped me create these powerful routines in my life is because I only set them up around what I really, really want. Let me give you an example in my life, and certainly it's an example that I use all the time. I want to be healthy. I want to be as healthy as I can for as long as I can. And, you know, age works against you. And so as age keeps pushing me one way, I want to fight back and keep my body in the best shape I can be, even though I'm aging. You know, what do they say? 50% over time, your muscle goes away. Well, the only way I can stop that if I push back the other way. So the reality of it is that's important to me. That is really important to me. So I'm an early riser, crazy early riser. So I'm up at four and I'm working out by 4.30 in the morning. I like to not rush. I get up my four, I take my time and I'm in uh, the gym by 4.30 a.m. Now here's the kicker with that. I promise you to do that, it's gotta be important to me. And it is, it really, really is. And I have to tell you, I feel so amazing after I've completed my workout, all right, and I'm raring to go for the day. I feel it throughout the entire day. I feel stronger and I know I've helped myself in my scenario and my example, stay healthier long term. Listen, when it matters to you, you will do it. When it doesn't matter to you, I don't care what advice you have. I don't even care if it's good advice. You won't do it unless it's important to you. And last, but certainly not least, make sure each of the daily routines that you pick, re-verify that they support those outcomes. So if you pick some routines that really doesn't support what you're trying to accomplish, you're probably less apt to stay with those routines long term. Now, let me give you some, I promised that I would give you some recommendations for the things that I believe are important in a routine. You may not think these are that important and you won't do them, but these are things that I would really ask you to consider in some way, shape or form incorporating them into your daily routine. One is a daily gratitude list. Why I feel that's important for me is I think gratitude grounds people. I know it grounds me and it keeps me clear of really, again, why I do what I do and how thankful I am to be able to do what I do. I never want to be, I don't want to learn that lesson. I don't want to have to learn. I don't want the universe to teach me why I should be grateful. I just want to be grateful. And I want to be thankful every day. So for me, that's part of my routine. Exercise, as I talked about. For me, it's a must. I want it. It's very, very important to me. Here's another one. I hope that's important to you is sleep. I have to get sleep. I have to get my sleep. I can go. I have a ton of energy. But guess what? I have to get my sleep. So I am, I, clearly I, I'm an early uh, a riser. So I'm early to bed, early to rise. What is it? Ben Franklin said, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. 
Well, I will say, I'll tweak it a little bit, makes everybody healthy, wealthy, <laughs> man, woman, child, I don't care who you are, you need your sleep. And so that is something that I would recommend. Here's something that I find, oh, really freeing, and that is alone time. I am very comfortable. In fact, I need my alone time. Um, it centers me. It gives me time to work on my business, on my life, and not be in my life, dealing with the whirlwind, dealing with the challenges that we all have each and every day. So that alone time, I think, is really, really powerful. The other thing alone time does for you is it gives you time just to reflect, to rest your mind. All right? Wherever that alone time is for you, I don't if it's sitting in your backyard, if it's going to your favorite restaurant, having going to have your favorite cup of coffee, whatever it is for you and whenever it is, pick your alone time. All right? Give yourself time to relax, ask, ask yourself some questions, and really reflect on how are things going and do I need to make any shifts? Remember, I don't mean this in a negative way and I don't want people to take it in a negative way, but we're always the problem. That's a good thing. That says if we're the problem, we have the opportunity to change things. So I think that's a plus. So don't look at being the issue as the problem. Look at as being the issue as very freeing to say, wow, it's in my hands. I have the control to make a shift and move myself in any direction and any success level that I choose to move. Two more things that certainly, and I mentioned them earlier that you could put in there, and that is something that moves you forward personally and something certainly that moves you forward around your business, around your financial success. All right, guys, there's a myriad of items that you can put in there dealing with, you know, spiritual, dealing with what other passions you have in life, dealing with family, um, dealing with hobbies, uh, meditation, the, the, the list goes on and on and on. Again, I'll reiterate is please pick whatever those categories are, the ones that are most meaningful to you. Look, I, I have to tell you, I don't believe there's any downside in having a routine. I will even call this the days that you don't have your routine, you don't use your routine, to me is a routine, all right? I have the days that I say, I don't want a routine today. I just wanna be lazy, I wanna relax, and today's almost gonna be alone time for me, virtually for the whole day, and I'm really gonna use the day to think and to relax and to rest my mind. Guess what? That's a routine. I look at that as part of my routine. Part of my weekly routine is to have no routine in a day and just be able to relax on what, call it a day off or a day of rest, be it on the weekend or whatever the case may be for you. All right, having a daily routine that you own, that you care about, I promise you is going to be a plus moving you forward on a consistent basis. When we don't have a routine, we tend to waste a lot of time. So today's message, I highly recommend you having a daily routine, a personal daily routine that supports you and the goals and the outcomes that you're trying to create. Hopefully today was worthwhile. If you uh, thought this was valuable, like the information. If you haven't already followed me, please follow. And also please share. If you know of anyone that will benefit from this information, share it with as many people as possible. We will see you next week. Have a great week, everybody. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.